Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am which humans call Arceus. Now I wish to know thine appearance. Doth mother know you weareth her drapes? What is thy name? What is thy bidding, master? It was foretold that you would be here. The long-awaited meeting has come at last. We need not be adversaries. I, the Emperor will show you mercy if you will tell me where the remaining Jedi can be found. Emerald Miner. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Emerald Miner. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Oh snap, I'm Bro, what am I doing? I'm falling, yo. Bro, really, I got a phone? That, that's a, literally, <laughs> that's an iPhone, bro. What are these people doing? Apple, they must have really, or, it's not, it's not even like an iPhone, it's like a Google Play phone or something. My gift unto thee, a smartphone. Use it wisely, mortal. In the beginning, Arceus created the iPhone. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Welcome, people. Your boy is here, Emerald Miner, with... Pokemon Legends Arceus. Man, it's crazy. Feels like we just had Billion Diamond Shining Pearl and now we're- WAKE UP! Oh, do wake up, won't you? Oh snap, we got the- Are you alive, my boy? Link. Wake up, Link. You have been quite a shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand? Now, who in the world does that? So this man just comes... I have no family. No nobody. I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. I see, you seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer you some directions? No, no, I don't, I can't stay anywhere, bro. So you don't know anyone here and you don't know, even know where you spent the night. Well, this is quite a pickle indeed. I don't know what to do. Are you sure you're able to survive? Like, dang, bro, that's kind of sad. I see, well, no gentleman would have Abandon such a person in need. The good Samaritan over here. Pish flash. Oh, I've completely forgotten. I just had caught away these three runaway Pokemon and he tumbled out of the sky, yo. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Uh, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? My, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures they are. What might your name be? Oh, so you're called Emerald Miner. That name has quite a ring to it. I imagine it has some lovely meaning. But I do apologize. I even haven't even, haven't even introduced myself. I'm Lavinton. I'm, I'm something of a scientist myself. <laughs> that is to say I'm a scholar to deepen the understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these. Wait. 
Oh, blast and bother my darling Pokemon. Why must you run away from me again? Think you can help me round him up? I beg you. So it's interesting because Breath of the Wild, right? Was set a hundred years after the Calamity. I'm being sent a hundred... I'm a hundred years in back in time. How do I... Okay, so that's interesting. Can I change the controls? Where Can I go to a menu or anything? Not immediately, it seems like. Yeah, am I going to ring on my... Oh, that is my phone. So I was sent back with ancient technology by Arceus, it seems. Arceus, Arceus. You found something that resembles a phone. How do I know what a phone is? It's probably your phone, but it is a strange shape. I was still upon thee this Arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. So I was sent back in time by Arceus. Why me? I captured Arceus probably in Heart Gold Soul Silver. And then from there went on to um Man, I really wish I could hold but why they gotta do this to me, man? Why would they intentionally make the controls where you would ordinarily hold B, now I have to hold down the L button? Glad you came to my rescue. Try to catch my little runaways by tossing them some Pokeballs, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to see you go at it. First, uh, but I'll tell you about these first. That one's Rowlet. Well, I can photosynthesize like a plant. Nice, he's got a young bow tie crew. That one's Cyndaquil. The fires burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up when it surprised your rate. Foom! Oshawat! That Pokemon over the near the pond is Oshawat. Naps while floating on the water and it can use the shell like object on its belly to battle. Splash splash! Oh my, I nearly forgot the most crucial thing. How about catching some Pokemon? These are Pokeballs. Some nice ancient Pokeball. 50? Dang. But that won't do for an explanation. Let me be more thorough. I've already mentioned that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to a minuscule size. Interesting that you say shrink down. Because we just had Dynamax. That's where Pokeballs comes in. Recent invention, you see. Throw them on a Pokemon, and the Pokemon will shrink down to fit inside, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know you've just met, but I'm afraid no one else to turn to. I'm awfully grateful that you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the Pokemon f Pokeball fly. I suppose give my own Dialac a skill in this area. Throwing Pokeballs. Okay, interesting. Not gonna lie, I re I've really been trying to catch Oshawa. Why? Well, re they really want you to aim on this thing. I didn't realize it was this let's go. That's pretty cool. I can literally walk around and watch it. Wonderful, you caught a Pokemon. Can I catch the other ones? So they do let me catch the other ones. I mean, what's stopping me from just keeping all of them, though? I might need to turn out the sensitivity. I don't know. Nice. Or maybe turn it down, honestly, because it's moving too much. But this is really tripping me up. I'm not even going to lie. That might be the technique to just kind of like have it there and then like move to the side. What? You escape, bruh? I guess I'm afraid that can happen. Are hardly 100% foolproof. Let me try this out. Wonder if that was built in. Yeah, see, I like that better. Move around and get it to aim. Hey, bro, I got all three. Can I keep all three? That's my question. Thank you very much indeed. What a relief you have them all back. 
See, three Pokemon you have caught have just arrived at our village with the help of our research. They won't listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village, almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Emerald Miner was taken aback by how well you used Pokeballs. How is it that you're able to catch them so ailing when you've only just arrived? Because I'm from the future, bruh. One can't help but there's a reason you've appeared here. I'm from the future, dog. They sent me with a phone. You know what this is? Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an Arc phone, you say. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? What is a phone, you ask? If you indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. What a dream to compile the region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We call the we in the field call such a catalog a Pokédex. Yes, a proper Pokédex is a wonderful work of research, containing all details of all the Pokémon found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokémon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokéballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokémon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree, my friend? Well now, what do you say? Shall we catch, help one another out? Catch some Pokemon? You've convinced me! Then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with Oak and, uh, welcome arms. We've a Pokedex to complete, my friend. Indeed. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village, then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal. Hey, that sounds good to me. Onward to Jubilife Village. That's pretty sus over there, man. Mount Coronet. Wait, wait. That's Mount Coronet, right? Or was Mount... Was Mount Coronet or us? No, it's good. It's Mount Coronet. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young man was a great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him to this village for a bit. Bro, I just went... My shirt is a Pokeball, and they're telling me these people have just invented Pokemon. No one's pointed that out yet. No one's, no one's like, anyone, anyone realize that this dude's clothing looks completely different from everyone else? I wonder if they ever sent us back to the future. This way, if you please. Jubilife City, it's come a long way thanks to the fine people of the expedition team. This road we come now to the locals is Canala Avenue. Where'd you come from? A new recruit for the Survey Corps. This village was built sacred, scarcely uh, 10 years ago, I don't know what he said. So little of the local Pokemon, it is hesitate to set foot in the village. Now that impressive building ahead of us is the Galaxy Hall headquarters for this entire outfit. Not gonna lie, it's hard for even me to like keep up with the text. Oh, botheration. I'd almost forgotten, what type of language is that? I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might you wait for me at the canteen? Oh, y'all got a canteen? It's just past the bridge here to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it s seems to show where you need to go next. Dang, even has the distance in there. Hmm. Hang on a sec. Well, aren't you? <laughs> well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the wallflower for galaxy team folk only. We don't have a seat for outsiders. We don't serve your kind here. That's got not... <laughs> Look, I'm so sad, man. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. Dawn? What if you were attacked by some Pokemon? You'd be minced meat in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties some out of the village. I wonder if I am Barry's ancestor. Perhaps you've met Professor Laventon. He's a scholar from a faraway place. 
His Pokemon do go away for, at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. Now, if I'm from the future, I could totally back to the future myself, right? What if I end up dating my mom? I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon called Thundershock not so long ago, and I had to take to my bed. But the professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Thundershock, that's it? Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says, I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Professor! But everything will be quite alright now. Emerald Miner here has agreed to help us out with the Pokedex. Excuse me, you plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. I'll allow it. Captain Silene, I'll allow it. It's, it's weird, but I'll allow it. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am Captain of Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You can call me Silene. The commander of the Survey Corps himself. Professor Lavington has told me you helped to secure Pokemon when they slipped out of his control, and now it seems that they would like to feed us and house you in exchange for ongoing labor. You look to be 15 or so. That's older than usual. Quite old enough to keep work for your own keep, but we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've had plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. If you'll excuse me. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us shall share a meal and some pleasant conversation, then, eh? Benny old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please. And make it three for today, bud. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never fails to please. Yeah. Professor Lavington, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, uh, well, this great hole in the sky, one per one people call the space-time rift, our friend fell right out of it. You can't be serious. Come on now. I am something of a scientist myself. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisuia region. There are, in the grass, in the forest, by the water, or wherever they like. Our job at the Survey Corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. But it's all impossible to... It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess, and what wondrous things they can do. But that's where Emerald Miner comes in. He successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand. No one in Team Galaxy is able to capable of a feat such as that. We shall finally begin our Pokemon research and interest. Three? We've had a hard time catching even one wild Pokemon to come after us. Ah, uh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying such a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure it will rain in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now have your fill, Emerald Miner. And to think, if you made it on a Galaxy's team, you'll never have to worry about having a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more important, as you do remember, Errol Miner has a trial to pass to join the Survey Corps, don't you know? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Errol Miner's skills. Let's hope it's not misplaced, after all. Emerald Miner, was it? For tonight, at least, we'll provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. But if you fail to pass the trial we put you through, you must move on, I'm afraid. You'll be expelled from the village to meet your fate, your fate, and perhaps your death in the wild. Good grief! 
sends the man to death? What does everyone else do? <laughs> Captain Silene somewhat Captain Silene somewhat like Hisui in that they're both quite harsh. Now she's now now she simply wants to put a stern front to keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned over for the night. Huh? It's a good thing we can't fall out one of those futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Yes, good night. A rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Head to the survey quarters you've been assigned. Cool. Bro, I I'm going to keep stripping this up. Is there a way? Can I get... Where's the control at? Y'all don't have the controls for me? They really don't have the controls for me yet. All right, what's this? Oh, game controls. Can I change these? Is there a way to, let me see, settings. So tech speed is on fast. Turn this down to, maybe turn this up to one. May as well go in, I guess. I really wish I could edit the button controls though. Like, who makes B crouch? Like, this is just the opposite of a standard Pokemon game, and they really want you to... Maybe that's the purpose? They, they want it to be a completely different feel than a normal Pokemon game. Survey tips contain all types of useful information. Handy tips for team members. Don't let your toils be forgotten. Diligent record-keeping will save you from such a fate. Uh, auto save function. Yeah, I might turn auto save off actually. So let me see. We go to. No, it was in. Um, or maybe it was in this. No, no, no. Where was it? Yeah, up for some reason. There's, there's no way to edit any of these. That's unfortunate. Guess I'll rest up. I'm going to keep crouching this entire game because I just need to not press B. Another rift. The Badoof. Good grief, man. Who else fell from the sky? The next day. So, someone else from the future's here, too. What if it's Cyrus? Good morning, Ember Miner. Are you up? Quite the quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trial, so uh, let's give it our all. Let's give it our all, bud, or else uh, they're going to set you out to die. Lots and lots of items. Yeah, I, I'm going in mostly blind, but I saw like Austin and John's video on some of the stuff. They're like basically it's kind of like Minecraft where you can store it in chests. What lovely weather we've got. I hope you got a nice sleep in, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's go to headquarters. Captain Silene is waiting. Can I change out of my clothes, yo? Or I think I remember now. Can I, can I get a haircut? Or like... New hairstyles fresh. So I guess not yet, right? Can you give me some clothes? No, no one's gonna give me jack squat till I Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. I'm it's it, it's just second nature to me at this point, man. What do you want me to do? I can't just not press B to run. <laughs> Uh, 
The Survey Corps offices are here on the first foot. Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. The wild Pokemon, they they were everywhere attacking me from all sides. I went out with my partner Pokemon, but I again went against the whole pack outnumbered. This is what happens when you go far afield, but the Metal Corps will put you to rights. That man's with a security core. Even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. Without a partner of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. Captain Silene, Emerald Miner's here. You may enter. This one means business. Let's get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No Pokemon, no one in Team Galaxy has ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three po different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him, if the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. I she got an Abra. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you will be an asset to our cause. They don't want any freeloaders, man. I will lend you one of our Survey Corps satchels to carry whenever you may need in the field. Yeah, can I get some cloves? Like some better clothes? That satchel doesn't exactly match your uh, mode of dress. I'm saying. Akiri. I expect you to step in, or Akari. I expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Of course. The Galaxy Team's trial. Pardon, Errol Miner. Come with me for a moment. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Is something the matter, Professor Laventon? In order to complete our Pokedex and well simply survive in this unforgiving land, Emerald Miner must absolutely pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I got just the ticket. The three Pokemon you caught yesterday. Woo! Foom! Splish splash! Splish splash! Go on, Emerald Miner. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner run, you'll be able to fight off Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are near to me, but it's plain to see that they're rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which one would you like to take with you as your own? Alright, so, Cyndaquil. I've used it many times in, like, uh, both my Virtual Console Gold and Silver and even my Soul Silver playthrough. Rowlet, I played through, I think, my second time playing through Pokemon Moon, or maybe even... No, I played through Ultra Moon with it. And then Oshawott, I don't think I've ever played with Oshawott, honestly, so... And I always liked Oshawa in the anime, so I'm going to go for the boy Oshawa. Do you want Oshawa as your first partner? Yes. I shall what? I shall what? And with that, one of the Pokemon that you've caught at the Prelude Beach will now be yours to keep. Good show. I tucked Oshawa back inside its Pokeball for you. So take it, it's yours. Can I nickname my Pokemon, please? You received Oshawa. Oh, I probably can't. I just now received it, so maybe I'll me nickname it. A word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones are containing Pokemon when you're out in the field. Oh, snap. That actually matters now? Boom! They look as though they're cheering on their friend Oshawa. Or perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help you with your trial. That could be it. They did go dashing from the village. Well, let me take all three of them then. But he wants to keep the other two. Well, not to worry. I'll have you to assist me with research for now. <laughs> By the way, what species is Captain Silene charged with catching? What's well, smashing? All three of the species can be found in the obsidian fields. All three species are the first thrickin' Pokemon on the route. Let me give you some Pokemon to use during your trial. I got 20 more Pokeballs. I, didn't I, did I not already have 50? These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they are worked as a treat, as you've already seen. You've had this trial cleared in no time. 
I guess Ava, just in case you lost the other 50 at the first time, I guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the village for this trial. Turn to the left after you exit headquarters. Then head for the gate. Imagine if you use all up all the Pokeballs, then what are you going to do? And look at this camera. Whoa. Y'all see that? Jeez. Okay, now it's not doing it as much, but jeez, right there. Y'all seeing that, right? Messing with my eyes. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. Is this Cynthia's... Uh, I am Volo of the Ginkgo Guild. The go-to choice for any mercantile needs here in Asui. So, Cynthia's ancestor was a merchant. Interesting. Powerful from the sky, did you know? That's certainly a tale to hear. Oh, you have a Pokemon. You're certainly full of surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is a key to any good merchant success, wouldn't you say? How about we see our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Hey, sounds good to me. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood thrown flowing. When your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Alright, let's get it. Cynthia. Togepi. Interesting. Oshawott. Go now. Wait, wait. Whoa. They're level 5 and the 76 HP? Have y'all ever seen this? Tackle, bro. Bro, how you got 76 HP? How, how you got so much HP? 58? How's one tackle? The HP in this game is crazy. All I can do is tackle, man. Looks like your toe could be done lost. You got another Pokemon? Okay, thank goodness. Moves, items, use them well. I only had one move to make. I don't think I had none. Level 6. Bro, how much HP are they going to have in this game? How much HP does Blissey have? As they gain experience through battle, they learn more and grooves and grow even stronger. But so few people have their own Pokemon. If they only knew more about how to use Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover from the little exercise. And as for you, my sky-fallen friend... I present some potions and thanks. How much do the potions do in this game? If if my Pokemon starts off with 76 HP, yeah, a regular potion does three times as much as a normal potion. Use them to yawn your Pokemon whenever they might. So how much does a Hyper Potion do? 600 HP? How much HP does Blissey have? A thousand? What is going on? What's Pokemon's reaction to this? That's really something nice. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now to the Obsidian Fieldlands. When you're leaving Jubilife City, make sure you choose a destination for your map and tell the rest, rest the guardsmen where you're going. That way, someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out. Hey, that's smart. Your trial begins just a short way past that front gate. So they kind of at least the. They're, they're being reasonable about all this. Your Pokemon are... I don't mind correct. I was referring to you passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please come back to the village alive. Wow, they really want to... They really want to be like, Hey, listen, you can die in this game, alright? So... This is a camp, huh? Base camp. Safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your try, you must catch three species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Are you ready to get started? Oh, heck yes. Professor, something wrong? Pro uh, professor? Well, you see, Captain Silene got a hold of me after you left. She's impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. That's our unspiring captain. 
our unsparing captain, but what exactly can you offer to the professor out here? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Emerald Myers talents are the real deal. He'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. Ah, uh, so the responsibility for him still, in fact, lies with me then. Well, I'm, I'm sure Emerald Myers will be fine. Let's begin the trial. You got this, dog. Yeah. That is Aspiration Hill. The f species of Pokemon you meant to catch all live here. Can I actually go to those mountains? Let me take a look at the map. I want to see how far this goes out. There's a Bidoof. Along comes a Bidoof. Get ready to catch it. Well, it's just a Bidoof. What's a Bidoof going to do to me? It's just a Bidoof. The key is to aim carefully. Not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. Alright, chill, Bill. Bidoof has a mellow disposition. This means that they're not, they tend not to run away from people, so that'll be easy. Alright, so it doesn't seem like they'll let me get any items yet. Oh, snap. Look at that first person view. You caught up a doof. Well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. I don't know why y'all are struggling out here, man. Bro, can I keep the first person view, please? Look, there's a Starling. Skittish little things. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be harder to spot. All right, now I can actually press B, huh? Yo, this is so cool, man. Where'd the little dude go, though? Oh, snap. Look here. I wish I could keep the FPS view and still do that, though. All right, that clearly was not gonna hit him, but it did anyways. I'm not gonna complain. Alright, one more to go. Where's the Shinx? A spoiled Apricorn. There's something I ought to teach you since you're new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokemon. As the Captain Silene teaches, have an item at the ready that send out... I'm sure it says that. Press X, huh? Have an item at the ready? Captain's a real expert on these things. Try throwing Pokemon... Try throwing your Pokemon balls at rocks or trees like this to investi to have and investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries, I'll bring them to you. Oh, okay. Wait, let me try that, though. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, look at that. All right, Oshawott. Let's go check out this, uh, this tree, huh? What you got? Like, yo, dog, I got this, dog. Let me get them berries. Hey, thank you, dog. So thoughtful. So I have some orange berries, some spoiled. That, there's the Shinx. Hey, look, it's just a little, little Shinx. Shinx has an aggressive disposition, could you already tell that? More or less. I thought you might. I could never f tell until I focus on a Pokemon carefully. Once aggressive behavior Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any Pokemon you throw at them. Okay, I see. The more arrows above it, the easier it is to catch. Cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Don't worry, though. I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. Once they've absor they're absorbed with the battle, you can throw a Pokemon Pokeball to catch them. But you got several Pokemon of yours of your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near the Pokemon you want to catch. I doubt you'll hold your own in your own battle. Or I doubt you've... Whatever. I have no doubt you'll hold your own. missed. I know. Alright, so this dude's an electric type, and the other ones are not that good. What level is this? Level 3? Alright, Oshawa, you're just gonna have to go at this guy, alright? 
You're level 78. I mean, you got... Yo, we got Aqua Jet already? Stab Aqua Jet, dog. Oh, snap. Look at how much that did. Good job, bud. All right. Items. Thank goodness I don't have... So that's cool, because so in the battle, I can literally just do that like that. It's diamond some What? How it still escape? You gotta be kidding me, dog. A crit? You crit my Oshawa. How dare you? Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, again. Might have to hit him with non stab tackle. Come on, bro. This shinks, man. You're level three. All right, hit him with tackle. Frick. Hey, good job. Don't knock the Shinx out, catch it. Even in battle, if you can throw an empty Pokeball at it. Even in battle, you can throw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get another Shinx? Oh, it's right there. What happens if I throw a spoiled apricorn? Not doing anything. You like the orange berry? I think he does like the orange berry. Does that did that help? Oh no, he ran away now. Bro, did I have 50 Pokeballs earlier? Why I got only 20 now? Frick, man. Bro! I really can't. I gotta battle this dude again. Fine, let's do two tackles this time. One more time. Okay, now we should have him. Bro! Oh, snap. Come on, dude. Stay in the Pokeball, man. I'm holding B. Bro! Gonna have to use my potion. Hey, but Oshawa's level 7 now. I could have just been leveling up on the Shinks, man. Come on, bro. Stay in the Pokeball, man. What happened to my 50 Pokeballs, huh? He took them all back after he saw I didn't use them all. I guess they're our precious resource. He didn't want to just let me keep them. Oh, thank goodness. It's about dang time, man. That Shinx was hard. Without a hint of fear. You're like a gift that dropped from the sky to us. With you at our side, I think the Survey Corps will have a real chance of completing the Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful. I'm still curious on why on earth you came falling from the sky like that. Oh, you said you'd pass the trial of flying colors, and there you were. You went and just did just that. Congratulations, Emerald Miner. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. Cheese. With skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we best report to Captain Silene. Tell him that we're not going to leave him out to die, huh? Yeah, I guess we should do that. What's this? You caught the Pokemon? Oh, congratulations. Small progress. In time, you'll be able to send Pokemon out that you've caught to live in the village pastures. You can pick up to six Pokemon to bring with you into the field, in theory, though we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. Come now, you two. Let's not dilly-dally. Captain Silene awaits us at headquarters. I bet Silene will be very pleased. Let's get it. 
Alright, finally not pressing B all the time. I could use some more Pokeballs, honestly. And I got Shanks on my team. Yes, what is it? It seems as we won't have to leave you to die after all. Yep. Pathetic piece of trash. Congratulations, you passed your try. You can kill, hold on to that satchel for now. I must admit, you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is your, this is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. I finally get some actual clothes, man. You've received the Survey Corps uniform and a pair of Survey Corps sandals. Get changed in the room you used last night, then report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in this uniform to our... Oh, snap. The, she's not even the commander. She's just the captain. There is a commander of the Survey Corps. Is it Commander Irwin? Can I get some of the clothes, yo? Not gonna lie. This Look at this. Th this is unacceptable. I don't remember seeing Breath of the Wild do that. Absolute insanity. Well, right, let's get changed. Bro, how am I? Oh, it's that one. That's it, right? Nothing else? Oh, hang on, though. We can... Look at all these contacts, though. Uh, I have green eyes. I'll go with green eyes. Alright, looking solid. Looking fly. I got green contacts on. Look how well our Survey Corps uniform fits you. It's almost as though the captain had it tailored just for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may what? You may as well wear this. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. This is the standard Sinnoh outfit. Mm-hmm. Now present yourself to the commander. Commander Kamado. I see Rowan's ancestor. I've been waiting for you. I am Commander Ervin Smith of the Survey Corps. I am Commodo, Commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. So you are Emerald Miner. It's an honor, sir. <clears throat> you know your manners, at least. I have been briefed on the situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Yeah. Huh. You've got vigor. I'll give you that. You do need to work on your sumo technique, but I see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us may see your arrival as a portent of danger. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're a part of Jubilife life now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warned you, Emerald Miner. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Nice. Bro, at 
what? Abra's phasing in and out of existence back there. So the commander's also accepted you. But understand this. You begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform as well as the Survey Corps and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher rank you'll become. And work on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer to that goal of yours to seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you will need this. Recipe for crafting Pokeballs. One Apricorn, one Tumblestone. And $3,000 as well. You'll have to buy the necessary materials. Okay, so can I... I can't just get them out in the field. Akari, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Of course, Captain Silene. Now as the experienced craftsman here, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making blah blah blah. Come on, I know what crafting is. At the general store, got it. Viable tools, Pokeballs, there are... Think where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the Craftworks. I didn't realize I needed to press A, sorry. These are the doors just opening. Well done, earning a place in our team. My name is Ant, I'm the local clother. The professor asked me if you're ready for a change of clothes, so here, I hope they fit. Everyday Camino and everyday trousers. I hope you avail yourself of the village's humble shops. This way to the craft work, Emerald Miner. You can use the workbench here at the craft works anytime you need to make an item in the village. Nice. And I'll supply with what you need to make your first Pokeballs once you're ready to begin. Call my call my way as congratulations on joining us. Just spend the money you got from the captain on clothes or whatever thinks you best. Go up to the workbench and choose an item. In this case, a Pokeball. Alright, got 20 apricots. Easy enough. Oh, now that's some fine craftsmanship. It's hard to believe this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. You'll recall, of course, that, that Pokemon possess an odd power to shrink themselves down. Make that use of that power to catch them. All the more Pokemon species can be duly rec rec recorded in the Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. Your Pokedex. It's not a phone, it's a notebook. Task with unreported data. Oshawa. Bro, I caught these dudes. Why haven't I... Number caught. So I need to get a good grief. 25 of these guys? 25 shinks? 15? Three, of all three of them? Goodness. I prepared this volume just for you. Bro, this is like Pokemon Go. Like, the amount that I have to actually catch. I'd be all too happy to explain about the research task I could use your assistance with. Well, you know what it probably is. They're probably trying to record data because... Obviously, like, every Pokemon... Hey, excuse me, I couldn't help but over here. If you're going to the Fieldlands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be at your headquarters if you want to talk about it. People who have uh, something to ask you with displayed icon. Okay, so you got a, a task for me? What you got? So, there's this Pokemon called Wurmple. Yeah. I was having a chat. Oh, I heard that, yeah, if you could catch a shiny Wurmple and give it to this guy, I'll have a shiny Cascoon or something. Phenomenon called Evolution. Alright. I got you, dog. Wurmple can evolve. Yeah, so the way I see it, then, is, like, they want us to catch that many to because Pokemon, 
have different like weights and everything like in Pokemon Go. So maybe like the actual Pokedex that we have like in other games, it could be just like a weighted average of everything. So then we're trying to find out the average information for all the Pokemon. Yeah, so where are we going? I guess so, yeah. Don't really see any other place to go. Radio. Let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete the Pokedex of ours, there are many research tasks I need your help to carry out. The details of these tasks can be found on the Pokedex. Okay. Um, a variety of species. When you're focused on a wild Pokemon, you can instantly check the research task that species. Some unusual task. You must catch and battle diverse species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain research points and reward rewards for your work. One last piece of advice, Thermal Miner. If you see a wild Pokemon that attacks to coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge! Here, watch closely. Remember what I do so you can do it later. Hup. Hey, that was nice and agile. That's beautiful flowing bliv gymnastics is what we call a dodge. You should have dodged, go on. If you're lying on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of the Pokemon's attacks. That way you can... Alright, well, what button is that? The security had to collect me when I got the business end of that Shinx's Thundershock. But don't worry, I've got plenty of experience to draw on. Alright, so... Oh, why is dodge? Cool. They just let me know that. Alright, so... I think for now, we'll go ahead and... What's the save button? Save your progress. Alright, so we'll end our first episode there. So far, really liking the game. But now, in the next episode, hoping to catch a bunch of more Pokemon. So we'll see you then. Bye-bye.